So it is it's right around six o'clock right now. And as you can see here, the sun is beating down on this solar panel. You can see here that it's getting full sun right now. And it's been getting full sun for well, about three hours approximately. It was it was about two thirty ish or so when the sun was able to get over that um, overhang and start hitting the uh, panel and the sun will actually be you know it'll put direct sunlight on this panel till about eight o'clock or so when it finally hits that uh, complex over there but uh, I wanted to show you guys there's a lot of naysayers out there and I've already read a few of the comments on my video where I posted uh, that I was getting 100 watts or 5.56 amps out of this in direct sunlight and I was told that uh, that's impossible that there's no way and and I'm only getting an hour worth of sunlight and, you know whatever well as you can clearly see here there's the sun it's not gonna hit that building across there in an hour and it's been beating down on this panel I've been getting direct sunlight for a couple of hours now right now my system is sitting at about uh, 12, 8, 12, 9, somewhere around there but I have a considerable draw on it not a considerable I guess but my draw is actually between 130 and 140 amps I have a uh, box fan uh, right there got my box fan plugged in um, a computer monitor and speakers here if I didn't have the fan on then I would have the entire computer plugged into this uh, but because I have the fan on um, I'm only running the monitor and speakers but this is an ammeter this will tell me the output uh, of basically the amperage going through uh, the line I've got a, a shunt on the other side and all the wiring looks pretty uh, messed up right now but I'm getting ready to put this all into an enclosure box uh, but anyway as you can see here this is the final output this is from the charge controller I've got this running you can see right here there's the output and that's actually going to the battery to the shunt the shunt as you can see here is running into the back of the ammeter and then the shunt extends out to the battery okay so there's no tricks here no no wire tricks I don't have anything else running into this you know uh, but you can see here let's try to really focus in on this I'm trying to get it straight on so you can see here without any angles alright so as you can see there where the needle is pointing it is slightly ever so slightly above five amps okay I'm probably gonna say about five and a quarter so direct sunlight five and a quarter amps final going to the battery this is not pre charge controller this is the actual charging current that is running to the battery I have five and a quarter amps or so of electricity DC current running to the battery so five you know five and a quarter that's about 95 watts or so DC current at 12 volts this is a 12 volt setup so for all those naysayers who are saying that no it's just not possible there's the proof right there there's the proof right there that I'm putting out exactly what I say and that's uh, over five amps um, you know I can't understand why people who call themselves experts uh, would doubt things like this I'm not lying I'm not posting you know videos of me you know basically getting more than I really am just to try to lead everybody on um, here's the actual numbers here I get about five to six hours of direct sunlight uh, right now it is almost June 21st so it's almost the first day of summer so our longest day is quickly approaching that number is going to decrease as we approach winter <clears throat> and uh, you know that's just the way it is so I will be getting less direct sunlight in the evening in the winter months but in the summer I'm able to get between five and six hours of direct sunlight so as you can see there 
if you add that up, that's uh, at least a minimum of 25 amps that I'm generating off of one 100 watt 5.56 amp solar panel. So that right there is proof that I'm doing exactly what I'm <laughs> putting out. My draw right now on the battery, as you can see, there's between 120 and 140. That panel is providing probably about 95 watts of electricity. So I'm pulling, you know, roughly maybe 40, 45 watts of electricity from the battery to be able to sustain what I have plugged into it right now. So the solar panel is not enough to supply the electricity that I need for the few items that I have. That's fine. I have a new solar panel, an additional solar panel, identical. It's identical to the one that I have out on there already. I'm going to actually mount it right on top uh, of where I have the other one. So I will increase my output to over 200 watts, well about 200 watts, or actually over 10 amps. It'll be closer to 11 amps. So hopefully when I get that other panel up I'll see this needle rise to the 10. And you know 10 amps isn't really all that much in the grand scheme of things when you're converting 12 volts to 120 volts but let's just say that uh, in direct sunlight those two panels will be able to provide electricity to my entire computer and slightly more because my computer my monitor my speakers and my computer itself use about 175 watts of electricity uh, that will increase to just a tad over um, 250 watts if I'm doing some hardcore gaming but uh, for the most part it stays right there so yeah as you can see it's um, uh, doing really well and yes that is my actual output 5 amps uh, this is going to be going I'm going to be putting it back over on the uh, bicycle generator uh, I'll be keeping this on here and obviously all this stuff and uh, what I'm going to show you that I'm going to be doing and I'll get a video when I'm done because I'm going to have all this running to a junction box or an enclosure box actually and this enclosure box is going to house all of my hardware that you see sitting right there and I'm actually going to have two 30 amp DC breakers one will isolate the battery from the system, one will isolate the solar panels from the system. And I'll have all my various electronics in here, charge controller, fuses, and so on. And I will get a video of that when I'm done. I'm waiting on the DIN rail right now so that I can get that stuff installed. So anyway, just wanted to get that video up for those who basically uh, do not believe that I'm really generating the electricity that I claim to be and you can see that I really am there's no tricks I don't have anything I don't have a battery hooked up to it to, to boost the amperage you can see pretty clearly here you can see that's actually wiring that goes to uh, my uh, bicycle generator I have it unhooked right now but there's the two leads running from the solar panel into the system there's no hidden wires or batteries or anything else so Alright, just wanted to make sure that uh, that was pretty clear for people, so thanks a lot.